In this video, we will see how data binding works in a .NET multi-platform app UI. Data binding links a pair of properties between two objects, at least one of which is usually a user interface object. One object is target and the other source. Consider a view having two controls a text entry and another a slider control. If you would like to change the value in the text box based on the value of slider, you will have to write code in the value changed event of the slider control. Data binding makes it easier. We don't need to write code in the event handler. Let's see how we can replace the event handler with the XAML code. So let us remove this code. We will have to specify the binding context for the entry control. The binding context property specifies the source object. In this example, the entry control is the binding target and the slider is the binding source. Changes in the sliding source affect the target. Data flows from the source to the target. Let us add one more entry control with its rotation property bound to the value property of the slider control. As the slider value changes, the value in the first text box changes. This also changes the rotation angle of the second text box control. We are also able to change the position of the slider control by changing the numeric value in the first text box control. We see that in this example, the data flow in both directions. The mode property of binding object determines the direction of data flow. We can prevent the data flow from the target to the source by setting the mode property to one way. The binding mode can have the following values. Default. 2A data goes both ways between source and target. 1-way data goes from source to target. 1-way to source data goes from target to source. 1-time data goes from source to target, but only when the binding context changes. The data binding in XAML can be specified using different ways as shown here. The third syntax is in common but sometimes it's necessary when complex objects are involved. Binding context inheritance. You can specify the source object using the binding context property or the source property of the binding object. If both are set, the source property of the binding takes precedence over the binding context. The binding context property value is inherited through the visual tree. The following demonstrates binding context inheritance. 